Hello again, more class. It is lovely to see you. This is our Keeping in Touch video number 15. Wow, I can't believe we've got right into July. For some of you, I haven't seen you for such a long time. But what is lovely is so many of you have been keeping in touch with me using emails. And we're gonna have a look at some of the pictures you've been sending through this week. Let's start with Jack. Jack S.A., you were telling me that you've been helping to build a shed, which is brilliant, great skills. You've even designed and made your own table. Have a look at that. For schoolwork, you've written about the fox in The Catch. You've named your fox George. So you've written from the point of view of George the Fox. Great piece of writing, well done. Lots of feelings and emotions in there. And you've also done your Diamante poem, you did yours all about crumbly biscuits. So good to see some work from you this week, Jack. Thank you for sending it through. Isaac, I want you to have a look at Isaac's self-portrait. Now here's a picture of Isaac, just to remind you what he looks like. And here is his own self-portrait side by side. Really impressive detail. It took him a couple of hours and he tells me that the hardest part was getting the hair right. But he's obviously learnt a lot about drawing eyes from the previous practices. Look at the detail in those eyes. So well done Isaac on your fantastic self-portrait. Poppy, you've also done a Diamond uh, poem and you've recorded yourself reading it. So let's have a look at that. Dancing pretty and elegant. We jump, spin and glide. We are fun, talented and we jump around hopping and rolling skillful. And you've also had a go at a self-portrait too. Well done, it looks really good. I'm most impressed with all your work this week, Poppy. Macy, you've also done a Diamante poem and yours was all about juicy strawberries. You've chosen your vocabulary so well, it made my mouth water while I was reading it. Good work, Macy. You've always do lots of work each week, which you send through to me. So thank you for sharing that with me. And Evie May, you've been busy in the kitchen. You've made this delicious looking cheesecake and some chocolate twists. And you've even had a go at doing some tie dye. Look at these t-shirts that you've had a go at tie dyeing. Really summery, bright colors. Great work. Jack B, you've written a book review. You've been reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Here's his book review. He says he particularly likes the part in the Shrieking Shack where the um, characters are turning into animals and back into humans again. I have read that book and it is one of my favorite Harry Potters. I particularly like the part where Hermione uses a time turner to send her backwards and forwards in time. Curtis has had a fantastic time during lockdown, learning to ride his bike properly. To begin with, he preferred to be a scootery type person, but now look at him on his bike. He's whizzing around all over the place and he's even been set a challenge. His parents have challenged him to, drive, to cycle 25 miles across the whole of July. But actually, he thinks he's gonna do 50 miles, which will be a fantastic effort. So it's delightful to see you out on your bike, getting exercise and enjoying the time. Someone else who's been out on their bike is Mitchell. Here's Mitchell, enjoying some time outside on his bike, cycling. And here's him petting a horse too. Really lovely to see, receive some pictures of you, Mitchell. Blake has had a go at doing the science experiment. The one where you take a cup, put some water in it, put card over the top, hold it on with your hand, flip it over, and when you remove your hand, hopefully the cardboard will stay in place. Well, he was very brave, look, he's had a go, and it worked. Didn't get wet feet at all. Great job, Blake, and it looked like you really enjoyed that science experiment. And Lewis, Lewis has had a go at doing the science experiment with the water too. 
So he tipped his water upside down and he was super brave. He did it straight over his head and oops, no, it didn't quite work. Something didn't quite line up properly and he got jolly wet. Well done for having a go at it anyway, Lewis. It looked like you had a lot of fun. Now it's time to share some of your personal research projects. I've had loads of them through, so let's put them all together in one section of our video. Austin has made a project called Tortoise Mad. Have a look at Austin's page here. He did loads of pages. I've just done a selection here of the front page and one of my favourite pages in the project. So well done for that, Austin. Isaac's project was all about the deserts of Earth compared to the deserts of Mars. And he's actually done his as an audio vi visual presentation. So he's videoed himself talking through it. Here's just a snippet of what he had to say. My project is Mars versus Earth's deserts, similarities and differences. This is Mars, as you know. This is the Atacama Desert in Chile, which is about right there. Similarities that I've learnt. Mars might have life and may still. Earth has life and stuff. These are the Mars's magnet shield. Mars's northern lights are blue and the magnet shield is weak. Blake's done an amazing research project all on the snake and of anacondas. Here's his front cover and inside I was particularly impressed by this picture that he put up there of an anaconda that's just had an enormous meal and has got a swollen belly. A really well presented and well researched project Blake, well done. Poppy, you did yours on cheetahs. Here's her front cover and inside we can see that she's presented it beautifully really lovely well chosen pictures to go alongside the facts that she's learnt. Congratulations on your cheetahs project Poppy. Macy's made a poster all about France and what I love about this poster Macy is that you've used the colours of the flag, the tricolour, red, white and blue to, as the background to your poster. So well done, loads of interesting facts and really nicely presented in a poster. That must have taken you a long time to get right. Oliver's done a wonderful research presentation on the best cold water aquarium fish. I think this is possibly because, as we saw in a previous video, he's just got himself some fish. So he's learning all about them as part of this project. I was really impressed with the way that you went into the detail of the different species of fish, as well as the kinds of things you need to do to keep an aquarium healthy. Great project, well done. And the final project I've received is from Billy. Last year, Billy went to the country Iceland, and you can see here that he's done a whole project about Iceland, and he's included in it some of the pictures of him when he was in the country. But he also particularly wanted to focus on the volcanoes. Lovely details in your project. Thank you to everyone for all their projects. If you haven't had time to get your project into me yet, it's not too late. Just send it through to me in an email, I'd love to see it. We're gonna to finish today as usual with Pets Corner. We have two guests in Pets Corner this week. First of all, Macy would like to introduce you to her nanny and granddad's cockapoo called Poppy. An adorable dog. Thank you very much for sending that picture through, Macy. And here's Mitchell again. This time he's got his cat, Luna. A very cuddly looking cat. So thank you very much for sharing your picture of Luna with us today, Mitchell. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Keep on sending those emails through, keep doing that work at home, and I'll look forward to receiving more emails and videos from you, and I'll see you in our next week's video. Take care.